Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm in the beautiful fruit collection of Rosi and Klaus in Heidelberg. And here I have a slightly unusual current, which is, oops, let me get a bit more, which is known as the white or yellow current. Well, color is neither white nor yellow, but would say some sort of beige or skin or flesh color. And what species is this? Well, this is nothing but the good old red currant, just without the red. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. This thing is ripe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has the typical taste of red currant, this sour and sweet. And a tiny bit of flavor compared to the black currant, which is a different species and has a hefty punch, a very strong flavor. Yeah, let's compare it to some more traditional red currant. Oh, yeah. Here it is. I don't know the variety of this red currant. It was a cutting, but the white ones, Rosie says, is this is Versailles, some variety. Mm. developed for the parks of the French kings. Yeah, this red one is a lot more sour. I mm. guess it's probably not ripe enough. Well, here is some black currant, but the neighbor of <coughs> Rosie and Klaus also has the white and the red variety of the red currant. So let's go there and try two more versions of it. However, he has young plants and so he has the still the labels with the names here. Golden currant, which shouldn't be confused with the yellow currant. The golden currant is a different species. The yellow currant is just the version of the red currant. So let's go to the named <coughs> varieties over there. They are just as nice and tasty, but I can tell you the variety with quite a certainty and we can also compare them. So with the ones in Rosie and Klaus's garden, the white one was definitely more ripe and thus for me more tasty because I like I like uh, ripe and sweet fruit. Here we have another red currant. This is Jonker van Tetz. This is this seems to be some some Dutch variety, not completely <coughs> ripe apparently. So I'll just take a couple berries. Tastes more ripe than the other red one, which looked more ripe. Here a black one for comparison. And here a golden one. White Hollander, also a Dutch variety. <coughs> Let's see. Suck. Looks like the other one. The fruit look <coughs> kind of smaller. I don't know why, maybe because... They are here in the sun. There was a lot of drought stress in the last years here. All those fruit trees look a little bit small and yeah, almost stunned. I think this is because of the drought stress in the last years. They were planted in the last years, so couldn't develop properly. The fruit look a lot smaller, but let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, same thing. Here again, this is more ripe than the red version. I don't know if I can make a rule out of it that the yellow version ripens earlier or maybe has less acidity. But yeah, all those red currants, no matter if they are red or yellow, for me they have a very mild flavor. Mostly they are sour and sweet. So yeah, sour and sweet with the mild flavor. And the 
the yellow ones being on average milder and earlier at least in this garden so folks please tell me what do you think about the difference between red and yellow currant which one ripens earlier in your place which one tastes better which one do you like better which one is milder which one is sweeter tell me your opinion apart from that stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful city of heidelberg and its interesting gardens and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe